Captured in the wild nearly three years ago, these coho salmon have been reared at the Don Clawson Fish Hatchery near Lake Sonoma for an innovative Corps of Engineers and California Department of Fish and Game project. They'll spawn a batch of salmon fingerlings that will be returned to the wild at an earlier than normal age. In a few months, they'll migrate to the ocean and return two years later to spawn naturally. It's a cycle biologists hope can be repeated. Coho numbers have gone so low in the Russian River system and the fish are on the list of threatened and endangered wildlife and we're taking a, a fresh approach to putting wild fish back into the river system. On this day, biologists examine the coho before the winter spawning season using ultrasound to identify internal organs and determine sex. It's one part of a supplementation program to compensate for the loss of coho spawning and rearing habitat after construction of Warm Springs Dam. This is an excellent opportunity uh, to conserve or help with the conservation of a listed species and fulfill our mitigation obligation at the same time. Each electronically tagged fish is measured and weighed to document its growth in the hatchery. Over the most recent three-month period, the fish have gained an average of two pounds. I'm really pleased that we're seeing so, so much rapid growth in these fish and um, makes me very optimistic for a very successful spawning season. Biologists will rear the hatchery salmon offspring for about nine months before placing them into their historic coho habitat. Volunteers with aerated backpack fish tanks will hike into pristine Russian River tributaries to put the fish, as few as 10 per location, into individual pools. Every stream will be monitored to document this new strategy. One biologist's hope will broaden coho distribution here and become a model for other salmon-depleted river basins across the nation. Jay Field reporting.